Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Handy Monk. Today we're going to be looking at this, uh, how to do an oil change on this Honda TRX 250. Behind me today, it's a 04 model, but this should be the same for pretty much any ATV, especially a Honda ATV that you're working on. Uh, it just needs a basic oil change, some good routine maintenance. So let's take a look at how to do that. So the first thing I like to do before uh, changing the oil is you want to warm up the engine first to get any dirt and other stuff that may be in the oil mixed in. That way when you drain it, it comes right out. So let's go ahead, give this thing a little bit of a start, let it warm up. Oh, it's cold, cold. And so I'm just going to let it warm up for a couple minutes now, maybe give it a little ride, see everything nice and warm and mixed in. So now that everything's warmed up, we want to locate the drain plug, and that's on the underside of the motor. So we're going to look underneath here and see if we can find the drain pan. And it is, there's actually a hole in the skid plate right here where the drain plug is right here. And so I'm going to find, I think it's a 15 millimeter socket, put it on there, loosen up the plug. I'm going to grab my oil pan, slide it under here into place just to collect the oil and then we'll get this draining. Take this off. So we're just going to let that drain for a couple minutes until the uh, stream stops coming out. As you can see, it was useful to use the socket to help get the drain plug out so I didn't drop it into the pants as it was, kind of tucked up on there a little bit. But here you can see I've got it out. Here's the drain plug, the little washer seal. Looks good. The oil came out. It was pretty clean. So we're just going to let that drain for a few minutes. One little trick you can do to help the oil drain is actually pop the top a little bit. This is what the owner's manual recommends. If you just loosen this, the, this is the fill plug on the uh, side of the motor. This is where we will fill the oil. But if you loosen this a little bit, that'll let air in. Uh, I think there's probably enough air that passes by the oil as it drains out. But if you open this up from the top, say you can help it drain a little bit faster. Just a little trick. So it's been a couple minutes and the flow of oil has basically stopped. There's a little bit dripping, but I think that's what's coming off the uh, skid plate, the oil that kind of leaked onto the skid plate. So we're just going to wipe that up really well and go ahead and put the plug back in. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a tighten with the ratchet, nothing too snug because it is going into aluminum, but just something to make sure it, that should be good. It's tight. So now it's time to add the new oil. So I'm going to take off or take out the uh, dipstick here, which is also the fill point. Just take out the old dipstick, obviously there's a little bit of oil left on it, just wipe that off, set it aside. I wiped off the area around the hole before opening up the dipstick earlier. But we're gonna go ahead and just make sure again that that's really clean, try to wipe away any dirt that might be there. This is an ATV, so you're of course gonna get dirt in lots of different places. So just wanna wipe that away from the hole so nothing falls in while we're filling it with clean oil. So I'm gonna take, I'm using just 1030, that's what's recommended by the user's manual. You can use 1030 or 1040. It's important to use something with a high enough viscosity because this is air cooled and so it uses the engine oil to help with cooling. So you want to make sure you have a thick enough oil, especially if you're running in the summer. Um, 1030 should be good enough for our application. So I'm going to open this. Add my oil. That drain. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Wipe off the dipstick. Put it back in. Wipe off the surface a little bit again. Just keep it clean. Might check it just for fun. Might be a little over full even since we haven't started it yet. There should be. Yep. Oil's in there. Okay, that's tight. Don't see anything dripping out from the bottom. That's a good sign. So let's go ahead and start it. Check for leaks. No leaks. All right. There we have it. That's it, guys. That's how you change your oil in an ATV. It's pretty straightforward. Remember to go out and kindle and enlighten. Thanks for watching.